What's good, everybody? It's your boy KFYS Joe back at it again with another week, another episode on the All My Feet Network. Welcome to episode four. If you guys missed episode three, make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. I did a real versus fake comparison on the J Balvin Jordan ones. So if you guys are thinking about buying the J Balvin's, make sure you guys go ahead and check out that video before you buy it third party so you can definitely connect and see if you guys are getting a legit pair. This week, I want to be talking about something a little bit different. Now, we all know the regular sources where we usually get third party sneakers. GOAT, StockX, SneakerCon app. Those are the three main sources. Everybody usually buys third party. Now, there is some places to also get sneakers third party. You have things like the OfferUp app. You have the Let Go app. And we have one of the worst out there to buy your sneakers from, Facebook Marketplace. These things are terrible. So whenever you guys are buying from these three places, you have to make sure you're getting real sneakers. You do not want to pick up a pair of fakes from these places. Now, I'm going to kind of go over some basic things that you need to ask that you may not know to ask. So number one, the thing that makes it look suspicious on either one of these places is the price. If the price is too good to be true, believe it or not, it probably is. If you guys are trying to buy a pair of Travis Scott Jordan 1s, right, they're going for two bands. Someone's asking like $1,200 or $900, pass on it. Believe me, you're going to get got. Do not buy a pair of sneakers for cheap just because someone says it's cheap. Even if you believe them and they seem like a legit person or legit source, no one is going to sell you that unless they're like your brother or something like that. But other than that, you guys need to pass on this. Now, if it's still in your brain, is that shoe is real, right? If you really believe it, one thing you can do is definitely take it to a consignment shop next to you. Make them meet you up at a consignment shop so the owner of the store, whoever the employees of the store, can legit check it for you. Maybe they have one in stock, they can compare side by side. A lot of sneaker consignment stores typically know what they're talking about. They know the real versus fake. So if you don't know, have them meet you there. And if they say that they can't meet you there and they're close by, definitely pass on that because they know that it's not gonna get legit checked whenever they're at the consignment shop. Now, the second question that you need to ask, where did you get it from and do you have the receipt? Typically, if somebody bought an expensive pair of sneakers that you're going to purchase third party, whenever they got that shoe, they knew that the value was gonna be high so they keep the receipt and they know where they purchased it from such as sneakers, if they got it off of sneakers, let's say they hit, they got the got a message. It will be in their saved purchase history on sneakers. And if they say that they don't have that, pass on the sneaker, you're gonna get got. And the third best advice that I can give you guys, offer up Facebook and let go. They all offer services where you can purchase online and they can ship to you. Do not do that. Make sure if you guys are getting these things, you meet up in person. There is no guarantee on money back. Once again, let me repeat that. There's no guarantee on money back. So make sure you guys are meeting in person at a consignment shop, ask for the receipt, make sure you guys do all these steps. You should be okay. So before you purchase from them, do those three steps, you be straight. But anyway, y'all, I appreciate you guys watching episode four. Make sure that if you guys have not yet, make sure you guys download the On My Feet app. This app is specifically designed for sneaker heads. And if you're watching this, you're more than likely a sneaker head. So you guys need to go ahead and download this right here. Make sure you guys go follow your boy KFY's Joe on the app as well. But anyway, y'all, it's your boy KFY's Joe with the OMF Network. I'll see y'all next week in the new episode of Spot'em. Peace.